guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you all know, Thanksgiving is quickly approaching. I'm super excited. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because it brings families together. So I'm really excited about that. Today's video is basically gonna be my holiday glam look. And it's also my first collaboration. So my collab is with Val Cohen. And I'm really excited. I will link her YouTube down below in the description box, so please go check her out. And if you guys would like to learn how to do this look, then just keep watching. First, I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and apply that all over my eye. Using my Morphe MB23 brush and my Meat Matrimony palette, I'll be starting off with Matt Lopez. And this will be my transition shade, so I'll apply that above my crease. Just trying to put a sufficient amount because when I apply the darker eyeshadows, this will kind of disappear. But I love the contrast it gives. Now, using the shade Mittens by ColourPop, I will apply that on my crease. Using my Morphe uh, G17 brush. Now I'm just blending this a little outward. Now with my Royal Revolution BX95 brush and my Makeup Forever Stardust, I will be mixing that with some glitter primer to create a cut crease. Now this is a little tricky, so I'll show you the way I'll do it. Using my e.l.f. Uh, glitter primer, I'm just applying that on the back of my hand. Now I have about this amount and I'm just going to be using just a little dot of it and then dipping that into the loose shimmer here. And I'm going to grab a smaller mirror just so that I can see it more up close. My Royal and Lang Nickel Shader Brush and my NYX Concealer in Porcelain. I will be cleaning that cut crease up and applying this on my lid, shaping the cut crease. set the lid from that concealer we had used. I'm going to go in with the Matrimony palette once again and use Matte Lin. I love this shade. It is such a nice um, eyeshadow because I love it for setting or even to use as a base or just for highlight. It's just an awesome shade you can use for basically anything. I'm just going to apply that using my Morphe MB20. Careful not to go over that cut crease. Using my MB20 brush once again in my Neat Matrimony palette once again, I'm going in with Matt Thomas and Matt Rossi. I will be combining these shades, these two shades right here, to apply that on my lid. I think it's pretty awesome because it, it won't come out like too brown because this is almost like a a lighter brown, like a like a dusty brown. If that makes any sense. <laughs> you guys could see that. That's what it looks like to me, a dusty brown. I really just wanted to make more like of a matte lid because I feel like if I added too much shimmer, then it would just completely throw it off. Also, don't forget to follow that cut crease as well because you don't want to have it like just right here and then you have like just one cut crease wing all the way out here. It'll look really weird. 
Alright, so with the eyeshadows that I added on my lid, they, as you can see, they are a little pinkish looking. The reason why I did that is to serve a purpose as a base, just because I didn't want the next shade I'm going to use, which is more of a peach, to look too similar to the My Transition shade up here. Now with my favorite brush in this tutorial, my MB20 uh, Morphe brush, I'll be dipping that into this peach right here. <laughs> and this is from the Cosmo collection. Let me just tell you guys, isn't this beautiful? This is so pretty. Using my Royal Crease brush, I'm going to blend that burgundy a little bit more. Just small strokes because I don't want it to blend into that cut crease too much either. I'm just blending it upward. Remember to keep that shape of the cut crease. So every time you blend, remember to blend in that wing. All right, also I will be using this shade right here on my, for my highlight, using my Morphe M433 brush. And I'm also gonna be mixing that in. Sorry, it's such a big palette, I'm like covering my face. I will be mixing that in with this shade right here. Now for eyeliner. Now, using my Morphe G21 brush and my NYX Gel Liner and Smudger in Jet Black, I will be making an awesome wing. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go into the shape of the eyeliner. So, I don't want it to connect per se, but I do want it to kind of go into that, basically the shape of how the eyeshadow is going where it's all kind of like a wing like that. That's exactly how I want my eyeliner to go. So just start right here. And then we can build upon that. I'm gonna clean that up a bit. Now I'm going to wipe away any fallout, I'm just using a big pointed dome brush. Now it's time for lashes. You can use any pair of lashes of your choice. Now I'm going to be applying mascara. I'm using my NYX XXL Lush Lashes. like extremely intimidating because it has like this ball and it's like really really prickly and the whole wand is just very prickly but it works awesome it's really good for separating now to move on to lips first I'm going to be using my NARS um, lip pencil and Cruella just as a base so for instance if you were to eat something this is amazing if the lipstick comes off because this is just an amazing base it does not come off it still looks super red so I love using this as a base For like the something I'm so excited about. This is by Golani. This is in Scarlet. This is part of their metallic lip collection. Guys, let me just tell you how beautiful this is. It's like gorgeous. It reminds me of like Jessica Rabbit. It's super pretty. And now we're going to be applying that on top of the NARS lip pencil. So that concludes my tutorial for today. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope you use this look for Thanksgiving. Make sure to subscribe and like Val's channel and do the same for me, please. And don't forget to spread love and be kind. See you guys next time. Kindly Kiana.